This is Brad again at Brad's Home Center. We're talking today about gas ranges versus electric or induction. This is my favorite range. It's a GE Cafe. And this burner right here is 20,000 BTUs. And, they, and you say, well, what did that mean? I said the average person in their home only has a 60,000 BTU heater. This is one third of what heats your entire house. Now watch this. We're going to fire this off. Look at that. Outside ring and inside ring. And boy, you can feel that heat. Going to take the hair right off my hand. I'm going to put this pot right on. And we're going to see how long it takes to boil that water. We just did induction a minute ago with the same two cups of water. And we did a timer. And how fast. 85, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, all the way up. Now, I can feel the heat coming around this range right here. The difference between gas and induction is in induction, 98% of all the energy goes right inside the pot and heats the water. Gas, not 85% goes around and up and out. How do you want to spend your money? Now, I will tell you, between us kids, I'm a gas guy. I like to see that flame. I like to turn it up and down. I like the visual response. But I will tell you this. My induction range gets hotter, faster, and better control than this gas range does. We're only at 125 degrees. I think in the same period of time. We were boiling that other one, weren't we? We're still waiting. We're only halfway there. Now here's another one. I'm going to take this off. Remember on the induction range I did the $100 bill challenge? Well, this is a $1 bill because I know I'm going to lose it. Watch what happens when I put it in between the gas range and the pot. I did the $100 bill over there on that induction range. What happened? Nothing. Watch this. That'll show you where all your money's going. It's burning right up to the sky, ain't it? And your water ain't even boiling yet. Say goodbye to that dollar, because that's where your money went. It went right up there and gone. I'm waiting for the fire department to show up, because there went my money, and yours did too if you have a gas range. Now, induction range, they need a special bur burner here, right? You can't use a glass pan or aluminum pan. you got to use a steel or cast iron. Well, look at that. We're almost boiling. Almost there, starting to simmer off. 170, 171. we got a good simmer going. We're going to be boiling in a second. And the only question is, what do you want? And Lord help us, we're going to do a plain old electric range here in a minute. I will tell you, I love my gas. And if I had a chance, I'd put it in my house. But I ain't got no gas in my house, so I have to have an induction. And it's better. Thank you. Hi there again. This is Brad at Brad's Home Center. Today we're going to talk about induction ranges versus gas ranges. Now. I have an induction range in my house because we ain't got no gas. Now, the really good thing about induction range is they are 90 to 98% efficient. What that means is they got a little magnet down the bottom and the only things heat up is this pan. And it is fast and is accurate and is sensitive and actually got hotter and better and faster than my gas range. And you go, what do you mean? You're going to have to show me. I come from... A Oklahoma, I'm in the show me state, so I'm going to show you today. I'm going to turn this sucker on. Maybe, if I can figure out how to use it. There we go. All the way up high. Now, the pan's heating up already. I can hear it a little bit. It's got that little vibration. It's got the magnet underneath that makes the pan move back and forth. Now, they say, how do you know it's efficient? Here's a $100 bill. $100. I'm going to put it in between the stove and the burner. And you're going to do, you're crazy. You're right. And here is, the, see that? 
sizzle. How long has that been on? Seconds. And we're going to watch that boil. Now you're going to say, you wouldn't do that with a gas stove. And I said, yes, I would. I just did it. And here's all I have left of my $1 bill. Because the difference is the heat in the induction goes in the pan. The heat in the gas goes around it. So you know what happened. I burnt my money just like you do every time you turn on your gas stove. Now look at that. We're already starting to simmer. Let's take a temperature check. Up there in the overhead, can you see that? Woo we're at 157, 158, 159, 106 degrees. You can see the steam coming off that already. And you're going to go, well, how about that $100? Is that burn up yet? Look at that. And it ain't hot. On top of that, just to prove it, I can put my hands right around the pan. My hands and fingers ain't burning. You try that on your electric stove at home or your gas stove. All the electricity is going into this pot and burning that. It says, can I use my cast iron? I said, absolutely. Cast iron is a great thing. And so is steel. The only thing that won't work on this is glass or aluminum. And all you have to look is on the back. They got them little circular things. That'll tell you if it works. Look at that. Boiling two cups of water in what, 60 seconds? I dare you to bait me. And not only that, watch this. I'm going to turn it off. It's off. And you can do anything you want. You can simmer. You can boil. You can broil. At home, I'm going to do this later. I'm going to bring in one of my cast iron pops. I got it up to 700 degrees. Oh, my Lordy, is that hot. Come down and see me today. I've got induction, I got gas, and I got straight electric. Anything you need, I got it. Brad at Brad's Home Center. Thank you.